Hi, I'm Lachlan from the Ring Fraternity, and this is the handstand tutorial. This tutorial will cover the handstand of the floor. For the rings, please see the link to our other tutorial in the description below. There are five key points to note on form when training the handstand. Notice the angle of my shoulders on the right is more obtuse compared to the image on the left. As the angle becomes more obtuse, the degree of openness increases. When first learning how to create a hollow body position, it's helpful to liken it to an angry cat, or the position you take when being punched in the abdomen. The hollow body shape is very important. Note the arch back and how this pulls everything out of place and also puts undue pressure on your lower back. Straight arms create a sturdy base for balance. Bending creates unnecessary work for the wrists, forearms, triceps and shoulders. Looking too far forward throws off your center of gravity. This is important for more than just aesthetics as it helps keep everything tight and rigid. This involves flexing the calves, quads and so on. Keeping these five points in mind, your handstand should look like this. When a handstand is balanced, the weight passes straight through the joints resulting in very little muscular effort. There are two different methods for a safety exit. The first of which is a simple turnout, which can be used if you're leaning too far forwards. Second is the forward rollout. A benefit of learning the forward roll is it gives you more time to fight to correct the handstand before exiting. To learn how to master the forward roll, please click on the mallet. To progress from a forward roll to a forward roll from a handstand, follow these progressions. Forward roll on the floor. Forward roll from handstand with knees on a block. Forward roll from a handstand against a wall. Forward roll from a handstand without assistance. It is important to warm up the wrists before training a handstand as they'll be bearing a lot of the effort. Perhaps counterintuitively, a softer surface is less supportive to the wrist than a hard surface. This is generally because a softer surface absorbs the force from the hand while a hard surface counteracts the force coming through your hand, enhancing stability. Push-ups and walk up the wall handstands are going to target your upper body and really get the blood flowing. Remember to keep a tight hollow shape in both these exercises. In the walk up the wall handstands, go as far as you're comfortable. You can work on these exercises every day aiming for 30 or more push-ups and 10 or more upright walk up the wall handstands. Hovers will help prepare the midsection for the handstand. Proper form in this exercise involves no major arcing or hollowing with a notable linear descent from the shoulders to the heels. Aim for one minute or more. Good shoulder flexibility is very helpful in holding a straight handstand. Two movements aimed at increasing shoulder flexibility are bend over against a wall or bar. Shoulder dislocates with a bar. It's important not to grip too wide or too narrow. We recommend you follow these progressions. Handstand against a wall, leaning into the wall. Handstand against a wall, leaning off the wall. Freestanding handstand. Consistency and patience are the key. Push your fingers into the ground if you feel like you're going to flip and push the palm into the ground if you feel like you're falling back the way you kicked up. You can also balance by either opening the shoulder angle when leaning too far forward or compensate for falling backwards by closing the shoulder angle. Don't get in the habit of walking on your hands to rebalance. Instead, try to fight the loss of balance with your muscles. This way, you will learn how to engage the right muscles to correct when off balance. 
If you can hold a handstand in the same place comfortably, you'll have no problems walking on your hands if you so desire. The reverse, however, does not apply. To master the handstand, you can take it to the parallettes. These actually make handstands easier as they reduce the load on the wrist due to the more natural positioning and also increase the amount of control you have since you can use your wrists to push and pull to a greater degree than on the floor. The extensions upon the handstand are only really limited by your imagination. Some examples are the pirouette, the handstand push-up, and the 90 degree push-up. Please check out the rings handstand tutorial for a more in-depth description of how to take your handstand to the rings. It's another progression upon the floor and the parallel handstand, so make sure you're comfortable with these first. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or if other tutorials you'd like to see, please list them in the comments section below. And also be sure to keep an eye on the Ring Fraternity for more tutorials coming soon.